Option E papers are quite nice. Outline Pavlov's experiments into the conditioning of dogs. The first thing I'm going to say is that this is an example of classical conditioning, because there's a few different types of conditioning available, but this one is a classic or classical type that, that there is. Now we're going to talk about both the stimulus and the response. This is assuming that the experiment has already taken place and these dogs have already been conditioned. So a bog, uh, a bog, a bell rung by the experimenter, this is the conditioned stimulus, will cause an increase in salivation of the dogs. And this is the conditioned response. The conditioned stimulus causes the conditioned response after repeated uh, conditioning or classical conditioning. That's the key sentence that you need to write so that you show the understanding of this particular question. Now because it's a three mark question, I struggle to find uh, extra things to write. I mean that might get you three marks within itself, but an extra thing that you can put down is the fact that the dogs have learnt to associate the bell with food, and this is a, a learning behaviour. Moving on to the next question, outline how sound stimuli um, are detected in the ear. I like these physiology questions, as I've told you before. But the first thing that happens is that sound enters via the auditory canal uh, of the ear and excites the eardrum. So it goes inside that, that tube that you can put your finger in, and then at the very end there's a little uh, circular area of skin which gets um, excited and gets and vibrates. After you have the vibration of the eardrum, then that vibration is transmitted along the three um, ossicles or um, ear bones, which are found in the middle ear. And this amplifies the sound. After you have the amplification, then the vibration of the ossicles then gets transferred to the round window, and this is the hearing apparatus of the human. You have the vibration of the, the round window and the fluid within the cochlea, and once you have the vibration of the fluid in the cochlea, you have excitation of the mechanoreceptors, which are there as well. And this is ultimately what causes hearing. Once you have this excitation, that generates action potentials. Um, action potentials being the moving of sodium in and potassium out, uh, and vice versa. And then this is picked up by the auditory nerve, which gets processed to the brain. This is what happens.